What is good? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something that I should have did when I first got the truck, but I didn't have access to a lift, which is a undercoat. Um, I have had it for a year, so there's little spots of rust due to the salt on the roads in New Jersey and the beaches. So last night I hit the whole bottom of the truck with salt away um, just to get rid of any salt that's standing under there. Today we're going to wipe it down, make sure everything's clean, any spots that have rust on it we're going to either sandblast, hit with a regular piece of sandpaper, or wire brush it. Once that's clean and the rust is off, we're going to cover it with Rust-Oleum paint and once that's dry, we're going to finish it up with uh, fluid film. So the spare tire is already off, we're going to get over to the lift and get this going. All right, what I'm spraying the truck down with here is just alcohol diluted with water just to get all the dust off the bottom of the truck. Next, we're gonna attack the rust with a wire wheel here. You could also use a sandblaster, wire brush, or just regular sandpaper. I'm just gonna blow it off with this air hose here to get all the rest of the dust off. And once you're happy with the rust remediation, you can begin to coat back over with your black Rust-Oleum paint or whatever color you want to use just to cover up any bare metal. Along with the fluid film, this is going to prevent any further rust. I was able to get in contact with the manufacturer, so stick around for the end of the video. I'll tell you their recommendations for maintenance and my tips and tricks. Next thing we're going to do is take out any plugs in your subframe or frame. This is going to allow you to stick the extension wand in the frame to coat the interior of the frame. You're going to take off the existing cap on your fluid film and install the extension wand. And I started from the front to the back just to know which I already coated. So you're just gonna stick the extension wand in the holes, go both ways toward the front and back of the truck and begin to coat the inside. You're gonna to wanna to do this for any hole you can find in the frame or any components that are metal on the truck just to ensure that you don't rust from the inside out. After you're done the frame, move to the body of the truck and begin to coat the inside of the truck. While coating underneath the truck, you're gonna to wanna to avoid the exhaust or anything that gets real hot because this stuff does stink when it burns off. Mine lasted for about a week. I got some, it's gonna be inevitable you're gonna get some on the exhaust, but it will smell for about a week. And just as thoroughly as possible, you're gonna to wanna to coat the entire bottom of the truck. Once you're done, just take a look around the bottom of the truck. You'll have a nice glossy film over all the coated surfaces. If you painted anything, make sure the paint is dry before you coat. All right, so like I said, I was able to get in contact with the manufacturer to get their recommendations on maintenance after coating the vehicle. Basically, they said just don't power wash the product directly while it's on the truck. Um, so I wouldn't go through any um, car washes that claim to do the undercarriage of your truck, even though they don't really work anyway, that will start to affect the um, coating on the truck. It is inevitable to get some of the area in here that you have coated in the wheel well here, 
your suspension parts and things like that. Um, just by power washing your truck or your wheels. So they said just go over it again once it's dry, just make sure it's dry, go back over it. Um, a couple of the things I figured out while doing this, uh, I've, I've done it four times now at the different trucks, it was to get one of these Rust-Oleum triggers for the top of the spray cans if you're using rattle cans. Um, also, make sure you get the little extension hose that they offer in some of the packages. You can get these on Amazon. They just go right on top of the cans um, just to get the inside of the holes and the frame and anywhere else under the body components of the truck that you can find just to prevent the rust from the inside out. Stay tuned to my next video. Um, I'll show you how I put these black Tacoma lifestyle emblems on. Thanks for watching.